Ah, good morning, everybody. It's day 10 of 30 Days to Better Writing Habits. Now, I had a day off yesterday. Now, we've been talking all the last week about uh, writing habits and bum on chair every day of the week and getting into a routine and setting yourself up not to fail and all those kinds of things. But we didn't talk about our days of rest. Now, there is this wonderful book about rest. It's The Science of Rest. And it's why you get more done when you work less. Now, this is a bit of a Bible of mine. And I follow in the great tradition of Charles Dickens and Darwin and all those kinds of guys who work intensely for several hours a day. Then they'll go off and hike or then they'll nap or they'll go out with friends. It's a, it's a tradition among writers that we, that we um, work very, very hard and then we have time off. But a day of rest is where you switch off all together and you allow your creative brain to recharge. Now, the best ideas happen, or the best ideas certainly happen for me, is when I switch my brain off because my brain has time to, to link up the dots and the things that I'm missing when I'm very deeply buried in admin work and, and all the things that have to happen. It's not until I stop that my new ideas come and I can see how I can link some things together, which is really exciting. And Lin-Manuel Miranda uh, is famous for having said, I took a day off and in walked Hamilton. Now, Hamilton is a huge play, um, big musical over in America at the moment where it cost you $1,000 a ticket, then it's off to London, and to get into it is, is almost impossible. So if we all want to be like Lin-Manuel Miranda, we have to take time off so that our ideas can walk into our brains. Um, there's a lot of science that backs, backs up that creati creativity works best when you allow for time for, for the ideas to, to come in. I find that nature is a huge, huge insp inspiration for me. I find that if I go for a walk in the bush or I go for a walk along the beach or I give myself those times, then it allows um, it allows me to rejuvenate. And there's, there's talk in this book that I'm reading that for a lot of high-achieving professionals, and we're talking scientists and professors and entrepreneurs and all those kinds of people who are working at that very high level, they know automatically to take time out. And it can be a leisure activity. You know, they quite often do, um, I guess, high high octave uh, or high octane um, leisure activities as well as, as, well as their main jobs um, because that's the type of a alpha person they are uh, or people they are. I'm doing all the grammar this morning, aren't I? And it's only through these other activities that they can go back to their main tasks, rejuvenated, refreshed, having totally switched off. So my point today is we have to build in rest days into our creative habits. So get out your calendars. We've marked in our daily writing habits. I think mine was um, six to eight in the morning or whenever it was. But also take time out. Take time out completely away from your ideas. And when you come back, you'll find that you're, you're refreshed and you're ready to go again. So as I said, I had day nine off um, and it's been really, really great. So I'm ready to go again for the next week. I read my wonderful book, Rest, um, which, I, which, I, which has given me some more ideas. And I've covered, I think I've covered everything I need today. And I think we can keep this one really, really short because it's something that I wanted to mention. Um, but it doesn't have a lot to say about it other than get outside, ha have some time to yourself, and then come back, get back into that habit straight away. Get back into whether you're writing for one hour, two hours, or three hours, whatever it is, and, and continue on again. And you'll find that your writing's all the better for it. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.